Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to a new Let's Try series. Today we're going to be checking out a game called Please the Gods. Now this is a game where you journey to the lands of the gods. It's an atmospheric turn-based indie RPG where you vanquish deadly beasts of Finnish mythology, survive in the unforgiving wilderness and earn the favor of the ancient pagan gods. At least that's what Steam page says. It's been released a couple of days ago and uh, it looks pretty dang cool so I wanted to try it out so let's go ahead and try it out yes we're gonna start a new game because I've, I've played for three seconds just to see if it works and it, it does at least for now the ancient north shows no mercy only a miracle can save your family from starvation you see a vision in your dreams Sampo a golden mill torn apart in a forgotten war once reforged the treasure will provide endless riches and nourishment Ooh. You promise to return victoriously, or maybe one day actually you shall. Your wife already found another person. As you follow your vision to the land of the gods, she is banging at home. After a long and perilous journey, you are finally getting closer to your goal. If the tales are true, the legendary treasure Sampo should be nearby. We shall accept this quest. This is our world map, I believe you. We see a hooded figure in the distance traveling the world map by selecting nearby targets. Let us go. So I guess this is us. <coughs> and we travel. Up here, we got hearts, we got... I guess this is food? Probably damage and defense, something like that. Uh, we'll see. So we see a mysterious old lady who is wearing a wolf as a hat. Amazing. Ascends the torment of your family, only Sampo, a treasure of endless riches and nourishment, can save your loved ones. Who are you? How do you know that? Those are questions for another time. Follow my guidance and you might find what you seek. I will accept your guidance. You're going to need powerful allies to find the fragments of Shampoo. We must travel west to the sacred stone. Something is disturbing the wildlife. We have no choice but to defend ourselves. Continue. A lone wolf has caught your accent. Accent? Yes. Scent. You attack the accent. <laughs> so, combat. Let's see how it works. The combat is turn based. You take turns attacking the enemy and defending against the enemy attack. Alright. Uh, onwards. You attack first. When you press start attacking, you'll throw two attack dice and the enemy will throw two defense dice. Okay, so that's, that's all we do. I guess this is our plus attack and defense. Well, let's do it. Four, five, they threw one, two, three, four, one, three, four, three, four, yeah, three, four. So we got nine versus their seven. Your base, your base attack bonus is added to your attack. Okay, so we got nine plus three. All your attack bonuses are shown here, yes. The enemy bonuses are shown here, all right. So we got 12 versus 8. Your attack is higher than the enemy's defense, so you're in the lead. Good for for us. Your attack skills are shown here. Cautious poke, poke, balance strike, reckless charge. Amazing. There's some zeros over here. I guess this is how long it takes to recharge, maybe? Oh, cooldown. Shows if you have to wait to use the skill again. Attack bonus, defense bonus changes. Okay. Attack dice, you gain now. Defense dice, you gain next round. Additional effects, if any. Alright, continue your attack by choosing an attack skill. Choose a balance strike. Alright, uh, I guess we're gonna do a balance strike, which is gonna give us plus one over here. I guess. Oh, it's gonna give us another dice. Dice roll, okay. Your attack is higher than the enemy's defense at the end of the turn, so you deal one damage. One whole damage! Wow, health is shown here, yes, except that, <coughs> so now we're defending, we're gonna start defending, if the enemy's attack is higher than you, your defense at the end of the turn, you take one damage, you have one extra defense die because you used balance strike last turn, let's start defending, yes, throw the die, uh, your defense bonus is now added to your defense, yes, they thrown better die than we did, so we are 7 versus 9, okay, it's time to choose a defense skill. Uh, so warding spell, I guess, gives us plus two defense and gives them minus two attack. Or if the enemy's attack is higher than your defense, 
Oh, the enemy. Increase your defense with warding spell to hopefully avoid taking damage. The skill reduces your next. Okay, so it is our next attack by two. Sure. This is gonna equal it, but he's gonna still. Oh, okay. Whenever we're tied, the defender wins. Dodge. Amazing. I guess this first fight is uh, done in such a way that you'll probably win. Uh, you can turn on quick combat in options menu to throw the first dice automatically. That's okay. I'm fine by doing, you know, clicking this. 8 versus 8. Finish the enemy with a reckless charge. Gives us two dice. Alright. So that should definitely give us an advantage. Ooh, victory. Good job. We killed a wolf with a spear. Amazing. You can gather food in some encounters. Food is consumed whenever you travel to a new encounter. Okay. So it's like the kind of FTL stuff of traveling. If you run out of food, your attack and defense is reduced and you start taking damage when traveling further. Okay. Move to the fishing encounter. Maybe you can catch something to eat. I shall do so. You reach the shore of a lake. Fish. Is this plus four food? Success. You catch large salmon and roast it by the fire. Plus four food. Nice. I guess we go onwards. Over to this rock. The sacred stones. Pardon me, I thought it was just another rock in this wilderness. The sacred stones, the most promising sight to witness the presence of the gods. With the right elixir, even a commoner like you. Excuse me? A commoner? Can visit the realm of the gods. Here, have a sip. It should be perfectly safe. Oh, come on, why do you trust this old lady you found in the woods? He's like, oh, here, have a sip of this elixir. It should be perfectly safe. She even says, should. Ah. <sighs> You gain a skill point after completing a quest. Oh, you can have up to four attack skills and four defense skills selected. You can learn your new skill by clicking in after you have learned the skill. Click the skill again to select it. <coughs> All right. Um, high ground, sturdy block, warding spell, cautious poke, balance, balance strike, reckless charge. So I guess these ones are the ones we already have. We have one point remaining. So we could, uh, I guess, unlock one of these. You got hunting, companion, survival, or lore. This one is kind of cool. Uh, Rerolling all the dice. I think that would come in handy. Often. Often. Uh, game plus two attack next round. So just next round. Success deal one extra damage after next attack. Hmm. Plus one attack for each lost enemy health. You know what? I. I really do like this one, yes. I will unlock this one. Equalizer. I will select the defensive skill. We have no more points, so these are our four defensive skills. Alright. Seems good. Greetings, ground traveler. Or dweller. Okay. Mortals call me Ati, the god of waters. My servants have gathered a piece of shampoo from the depths. And I won't part from their offering hastily. However, I sense a spark of heroism within you. Hmm. Prove your worth by guarding my realm and earn the fragment of the gold mill that you desire. The water maidens have gone missing at Black Lake. Travel there and help my daughters. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing the Black Lake might be up here. So we can go to one of these things. So I guess this is a wolf encounter again. I would like to try this one because I don't know what this is. Earthfolk robber. Amazing. A hostile earthfolk blocks your path, determined to steal all your possessions. It won't stop the onslaught until one of you perishes. So we could just attack. We could use a battle cry. We could prepare our defenses. And we could hand over some food. No, we're definitely not handing over any food. We shall do a battle cry. Let on a mighty battle cry and charge into the combat. Continue. So we're gonna go offensive. So he's got... Uh, enemy skills are shown here. Defense skills have blue borders. Attack skills have red borders. Skill on the left will be used this turn. So he's dodging. The skill on the right will be used next turn. Place your mouse over enemy skills to see what each skill does. Alright. Dodge. It's gonna give him extra defense dice. <coughs> Alright. Wild strike. Same. Plus the offense. Well, we shall start attacking. Wow! You rolled two ones? That's horrendous! That is absolutely terrible. Uh, let's go. I mean, he's dodging. He's gonna have another defense. 
I think I'm gonna go with ca cautious poke and get better defense there. We're definitely missing that, so we're gonna we're gonna defend over here. Oh, well, we're better on defending. So we don't have any ones, so using the equalizer is not that useful. Uh, higher ground is gonna give us worse defense. Nile, maybe. I don't know. Um, so he's using the wild strike, I guess. Uh, just, I think, go with the sturdy block, which is not gonna do anything extra, right? Okay, we did dodge that one. Okay, start attacking. So we got the same. That is for both of us. Let's go with a reckless charge. Screw it. One and three. That's disappointing, but we, we got the hit. We got the hit gun. He's plundering. Success deals one food. Wow. I don't like that. We do have um, forward momentum. Um, we don't have any extra dice. Well, he's gonna be still rolling. Hmm. It's gonna give us plus two. Uh, let's do this one. Did you? Ah, he's re-rolling. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Okay, that one already uh, worked well. Ooh, that's really good. 14 versus 6. We're gonna go with Reckless Charge. Hell yeah. We got him there. Oh, he got hit. That should be a critical strike or something. He's going for Wild Strike. We are 7-7. Seven, seven. He's got one more roll while we don't. So he's probably getting the hit in there. <clears throat> Let's actually do. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do anything. I think I'm gonna go for higher ground. Yeah, he he definitely had the adventure there. Advantage there. That's fine. But we should have the higher ground uh, bonus now, right? Maybe. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go for reckless charge. Let's just over over bear him. There you go. He's down. Victory. Victory, good job. We got him. Alright, now we are missing one HP. What happens if you lose HP? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out eventually. <clears throat> we could go for more fish, but I think we got plenty of food. So let's go over here to this campfire. You see a beautiful opening in the middle of a dense forest. We can gather berries, build a campfire, thank the gods. Uh, yeah, we can build a campfire and heal up. It's nice and cozy by the fire. The bruises don't hurt as much after getting some rest. Nice, we healed up. Uh, we're gonna continue up. Yeah, which which lake would it be? This one or this one? You never know. Uh, we're gonna go up here. So that's the same guy. Uh, I think we'll do battle cry again. I think having uh, advantage on. Oh, you rolled a one, dude. Come on, it's ten versus ten. I think we go for reckless charge and hope that. Oh, nice, nice. That's good. Get a hit in. Uh, let's start defending. Six and two. That's pretty good. We got advantage. He's got another roll. He's gonna roll another dice. Hmm. We could go for warding spell, but then next turn we get less attack, right? Which is not exactly what we want. Just keep the sturdy block, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's got that one. That's fine. That's fine. Let's start attacking. One and five. Come on, dude. I'm disappointed. Well, let's just go with reckless charge. 16 and 16. Damn. He rolled a six there, huh? Yeah, we're rolling low. I'm uh, quite disappointed, I must say. I don't like our defensive things really he's definitely gonna overroll me warding spell doesn't even help over here so I'm just gonna for higher ground over here get an extra die on the combat next time I think he stole some food 2 one one Wow that's horrendous can you get more than the uh, extra 
I don't know. Just just go for two and hope for the one and three. Jesus. <laughs> We're doing terrible right now. Look at that. Two ones while he rolled fi two fives. Please give me something. Another five for him. There's no way we can deal with that. This guy is just going to kill us. We are just rolling so terribly right now. Okay. Now we get two sixes. Uh, finally, we can uh, hopefully get something. We go for bad on strike. He can't reach us anyway. So I'm going to get a hit in and get an extra die for defensive next turn. One and two versus five and five. It's obnoxious. It really is. It's absolutely terrible. He's doing plunder. He's going to steal one food. Uh, but he's also going to hit me and deal damage to me. So we could get one extra roll. I'm going to attempt the warding spell. Five plus two. Ah, oh, still not enough. God damn it. You bastard. And we got terrible rolls again. Oh. I'm just hoping that five and six. Oh my god, he got a six again. This is... The rolls here are just awful. Look at this. Two ones. At least he got one and two as well. So at least there is that. But come on. What is this bullshit? Reroll both of these. You got four. We should... Please. Six and four. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> three and four versus five and three. So we got both eleven. I, I believe... I believe. Five and one. Okay, good. Thank you. Finally, he's dead. That was awful. That was awful in so many ways. We have, like, no HP. Go hunt the fish. Yeah. We got a salmon. Continue. Uh, let's hope there's no fights over here. Again. A ragged earth folk approaches you and begs for something to eat. Okay. Give him a fair meal. We lose food, but we heal up. Hell yeah. The Earth Folk accepts your offering and devours it quickly. He chants a spell that greatly mends your wounds before leaving. Well, I wish more of your brethren were like this. You know? I really do. Lady of the Lake. It's gonna bring out a sword out of the goddamn lake. A fair water maiden sits upon a rock in the lake. Maybe she knows something around about her lost sisters. I can't quite hear you. Come closer, handsome. That's a bad idea. Dude, I, I told you. Look at that. She's no longer Lady of the Lake. Or by the lake. You wade into the lake. Suddenly the water maidens playful giggle towards the shriek of agony. Naki, a shape-shifting water hag has been devouring the water maidens. What a surprise. Who would have thought that? Passive skills and skill effects are shown here. Place your mouse here for more information. Bloodthirst. Plus two attack when opponent is at two health or less. Oh boy, this thing has 4 HP, it's got a dodge and got a ferocious attack. I have a feeling this is gonna go badly, especially if you roll like we did last time. We do have options over here, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with balance strike. I believe in us, Maybe we can win on that last roll, there you go, we did, good job. We got a hit and we got an extra dice in the defensive turn. So let's do that. 2 and 4 versus 6 and 4. Not good. Not good. Uh, I wish you would have rolled a 1. Would have helped us a bit more. She's got 2 rolls though. Okay. With 2 rolls. Like even if... Yeah, there's no way we can catch her there. I mean, we still have 1. We could roll a 6 and she could roll 2 ones, But I like... I don't believe in that. I really don't believe in that. Uh, but maybe. Maybe we got a chance. Five? No. Yeah. Now we hurt on the def on the offense as well. Oh, nice. Two and one. Beautiful. Just, uh, we're never gonna get it over here. I mean, actually we can. Let's go offensive. Wow. Thank you. Good job. Terrible, terrible rolls. All the way around. And at least on defense we have a chance. She's doing a wild strike, so she's got one roll. <coughs> um, we're probably not getting this. Again, 
I'm just gonna go with sturdy block. Oh, thank you for rolling just a two. I appreciate that. So we really don't want to take one more hit because then she starts doing extra damage and yeah, that would be awful. Uh, she's got one more roll, unless she, she rolls a six. I think I'm gonna go with balance. There you go. She did roll a six. Good thing I went with balance strike there. Six and three. Very good start there. Uh, she's got sharp claws, which is gonna give her extra attack, but less defense on the next turn. She's got one more roll. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do we do this? Just protect. We still got one more dice. So I believe in us. I will just do sturdy block. Four. Good, good, good. Nice dodging. Nice dodging. Start attacking. Please. Uh, five and four. Good stuff. Twelve versus three. She's got one more hit. She definitely can't get to us. Right? She can't she can't get enough. Even if she rolls a six. So we're gonna go with cautious poke. Get two extra dice in the next defend. Nice. She's got one more HP. And we got two extra dice over here. One and six. It's okay because we can re-roll. We have two dice and we can re-roll the one. So I believe in this. Fours and re-rolling that one. Oh, it re-rolls their dice as well? I had no idea. Now I got... Please, good rolls. Four and two versus one and one. I like these odds. She's got a dodge. She rolls ones more. Um, all we need to do, like, really, is just go ham. And we win. Good job. Victory. Congratulations. We have killed the lady by the lake. Naki, the scourge of the lake has been slain. You have my gratitude, mortal. Awesome. You head back to the safety of the sacred stones for night. Good job. Good job. We did it. Uh, I think this is going to do for the first episode. I'll probably play for like one or two more. We'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy Please the Gods. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, combat is interesting. I like the die rolls. We'll see how it works out for us. Especially if you start uh, rolling such low dice occasionally. Anyway, for now, thank you buddy for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click that notification bell below if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Go crowd.